All right, welcome into the uh, latest five minute powers play. Got Coach Powers with me. And Coach, we missed you last week doing a little compliance stuff, I understand, but yep. we got you back this week and we got you back with two more wins. So, what, what's that saying? Go just keep piling them? Yeah, one by one, you know, <laughs> brick by brick is how we're doing this. And the guys are, guys are playing well. You got a great group of kids and they're bought into what we're trying to do and, uh, and, and they support each other really well. You know, it's fun to watch you guys play and watch you guys practice because I was just commenting, I watched uh, Coach Field run a drill with the defenseman and you had a chair out there, right? And the guys were hitting the chair the first drill. Then he moves them to the other side of the ice and he says one thing. He says, I want you guys to find the openings, not see the obstacle. And I watch the next five minutes and nobody hits the chair. Yeah. It, Tell me about your coaching staff. How, how good are those guys, and how big a difference do they make for you? They're huge. You know, it's it's any good head coach just gets out of and manages people and, and gets out of their way and lets them do what they do best. And that's certainly how we run our program. Um, Mike's done an incredible job with the D and, and on the PK, and, and Alex has done a really good job with the forwards and the power play. Um, and, and I let them do their thing. I let them do their thing. Um, I just oversee the whole thing and, and run most of the, the team practices, but um, the, uh, these, guys, these guys are a huge part of, of, of what we're building here, and we wouldn't be where we are without them. So tell me what it was like going to Huntsville, your first trip down there to play those guys, right? Uh, at the, uh, the NCAA level, and it, it's not easy to get there, right? You go to Atlanta, you fly from Atlanta to Huntsville, you stay an extra day, I know you guys came back Sunday, but what's that road trip like and how difficult is it? Yeah, we, we didn't really know what we were getting into. Um, the, the trip wasn't that bad, actually. It was a, it was a three-hour flight to Atlanta and a 27-minute flight to Huntsville and about an hour layover. So we've had worse. We've had way, way tougher places to get to. It was a, it was a beautiful city. Um, I think uh, Coach Corbett has something there. I think he can build something there, and he's on his way to doing that. Um, nice old uh, arena with a ton of character, pretty good crowd. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful for that program. and. Um, it was a great trip and certainly one we would take again. You know, they were struggling offensively when they, when they met you and you guys didn't make it any easier on them really. But now you got another team coming in in UNO who uh, struggling on their, their own. So um, how dangerous is this Nebraska Omaha coming in here this weekend? Well, they, they, we know how good they are. They're, they're, they're a tremendous team. They got a ton of talent. Um, they played Union at Union, who's probably a top 10 team this year. And then right. they played Notre Dame, who's now number one. So, you know, they, they, they have had a tough go, a tough schedule to start. Um, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be chomping at the bit to, to come in here and, and, and get a win. And, and we're going to have to be at our very best to have a chance. You know, I know you don't pay much attention to this, or at least I don't think you do, but there was one vote in the polls, right? Um, Tom Callahan, my co-host, and I were talking about on College Hockey Southwest Weekly that there's a pitchfork on the radar screen now. Kind of nice? Yeah, I mean, it, I think it's... It's fine, you know. Like honestly, honestly, I don't care. Um, you know, it, it 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 it's nice. I think to to I think some of the guys probably recognize it, and to, to get a vote from somebody, I don't know who, um, is certainly a, a step in the right direction. But that's not what we're aiming for. We're not aiming for a vote. We're not aiming to get votes. We're not aiming to be in the top 20. We're aiming to be elite. Um, and and nobody here is gonna gonna rest on our laurels or or be too happy about it until that day comes. You know, we can talk about your roster all day long, and, and you've told me many times that you finally have NCAA talent across the board, and it's showing up night by night. It's really hard for, for guys to get in the lineup. Uh, knock on wood, there's no injuries, so we'll do that a couple of times. But it, uh, how difficult is it for a guy to break into this lineup? Right now it's tough. I mean, you know, because the guys are um, they're, they're emptying the tank, you know, and, and, and when your lineup does that, that's all you can ask for. Um, is, is, is a, a maximum effort and the guys are giving it right now and again we have some really good players not not dressing for us right now and um, if you would have told me that, that Louis Rowe would struggle to get in and Bunces would struggle to get in and Max Balanson was going to struggle to get in through the first six games I, I, I wouldn't have believed you um, but there's just no there's no there's nobody that's warranted um, on the ice and especially off the ice um, to be pulled out. It's, it's a great group of guys and they're, they're taking care of business in the classroom and the community and, and that's all translating to how we're playing on the ice and right now we got a good thing going. I want to wrap things up a little bit with uh, the growth of hockey in the desert southwest. It's, it's tremendous and you guys are a big part of it. 
this week up in Vegas, North Dakota and Minnesota are coming down to play the, the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame game on Saturday night. And all of a sudden, the desert southwest is becoming a hockey hotbed, right? Austin Matthews has done some things. You guys have done some things. Um, you got to feel a little bit proud for that, don't you? Yeah, no, I think it's great. I think it's great. I mean, just the growth of college hockey uh, in general here in the state. I mean, you know, we have two two collegiate women's programs in the ACHA at ASU and GCU. GCU's grown to two men's programs. They used to have none when I was coaching at that level. UNLV has obviously boosted their program um, tremendously. Uh, and then obviously U of A is having a great year. And then, and then uh, our, our ACHA program had a great win against Saturday against the UNLV. So um, the, the growth of college hockey has been tremendous. And I think it's only going to get bigger. I was just going to ask you that. Is that what you expected? Did you think it would grow this quickly, this successfully? Or what, what were your thoughts when, when you guys jumped to the NCAA level? No, I, I didn't know. I mean, we, we, didn't, we never planned for even this to happen. So um, I think, I think uh, people are just understanding how great of a sport it is that we play. And, um, and it's easy to fall in love with it. And in non-traditional markets, we were just one in, yeah. in one in Huntsville that, uh, that's had a college hockey team there for a long time. And had a lot of success. So it's, it's cool. Hockey's for everybody. It's for everywhere. Um, and uh, we're happy to be a part of it. Anything new for this weekend with UNO coming to town? Anything you want to do differently? Anything you want to work on? Anything new in the lineup? I don't think so. I, I mean, you know, it, it's... Uh, if it's not think, broke, don't fix it. No, and we're finding some <laughs> consistency here, you know. It, it's nice. We, 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 we're finding some consistency. And I think, I think it's showing in the guys' demeanor when they come to the rink every day. They're happy to be here. We're having fun, and that's like, that's one of the biggest things that we, we you know we, we build our program on that pillar is let's have fun. Let's have fun. We're at the rink together every day, and if you're not having fun playing hockey, then there's no reason to do it. Coach, good luck this weekend, and let's uh, see if we can notch another sweep at home. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Yeah.